We have high fidelity simulators such as um, our SAM, our Birthing Mother Noel. They're a great tool for students to learn how to be nurses, how to think like nurses, how to act like nurses. They are amazing in their technology in that they really do imitate most of the physiological modeling that humans have. Oh, can we get a 12 lead? <laughs> One of the things that is important for a simulation is the suspension of disbelief. We want the students to come in and start identifying with this patient both their values and their um, different looks. Uh, we want the students to look at this patient and see them as a person. How's your pain right now? It's, it's, it's kind of hurting. Okay, your chest is hurting. Yeah. What kind of pain is it? We're gonna take a listen, um, okay? I don't know. It's right in my chest. It kind of hurts when I breathe, like a sharp pain. Yes. A sharp pain. The simulation uh, model we use. Uh, includes scenarios. So the student has to study about this patient. They have to understand what's happening to the patient. Then they become involved in the care of the patient and as the patient changes, they have to adjust to that. The GI bleed is one of my favorite scenarios to do with students. This particular patient starts taking four aspirins every three or four hours for several weeks, which then develops an ulcer in his stomach and he's going to need a blood transfusion. But one of the exciting things for the students as well is smell is very important. So we actually have a joke perfume that smells like a GI bleed. Now GI bleed is not a pleasant smell. And once a nurse has smelled this, she'll never forget it, but it also will help to bring back those memories of how to care for the patient when they actually face this patient in real life. We do have some tears once in a while when Sam is not resuscitated, and that's why we spend so much time debriefing and working with the students so that they understand the feelings they have, how they deal with those feelings, and how to protect themselves in the future if this is a, a difficult situation. We don't have the data to say that this is definitely what will happen to a student after graduation, but we do have the anecdotal stories of students who say this smell or this sight brought me back to what I did in simulation and helped me to care better for my patient.